Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And a very good day to everyone Today we are going to learn new chapter That is Promissory Notes Chapter 2 Promissory Notes So what is promissory notes class? So the snapshot of topic in promissory notes include the definition of what is promissory note and then we will learn the main features that usually include in the note. What are the main features? And then we will also look into the how the promissory note is discounted. So we call it discounting promissory notes. Discounting note. And then last but not least, we will look into the simple interest rate. Simple interest rate. That is equivalent to bank discount. Okay, once you discount the note, and then you will get the bank discount. Okay, first thing first. What is promissory note? So, in Bahasa, we call it nota janji. Ataupun dipanggil... Uh, Surat promise Okay, promise Ataupun literally means that Apa dia? Sometimes it refer to note payable eh? Okay, sometimes Refer to As note payable Payable. So, siapa yang belajar account, dia tahulah what is note payable eh. Is a legal instrument eh, ataupun more particularly a financial instrument in which one party ataupun dipanggil the maker atau issuer promise in writing to pay a determinate sum of money to the other party, the lender eh. At a specific period of time. So in simple terms, we say it is a, a written promise. Okay. Written promise. To pay money to someone. Okay. In simple terms. Okay, kalau you rujuk buku, maksudnya adalah apa? It is a short term contract requiring the borrower, the borrower maksudnya peminjam to pay the lender, peminjam. Peminjam to pay the lender yang bagi pinjam a principal plus interest at a specific interest rate for a specific period of time. So, bila dia pinjam, dia Berjanji akan bayar S equal to P plus I Okay So basically Promissory notes ni sebenarnya Based on the concept of Simple interest eh? Okay kita dah belajar in chapter 1 kan Simple interest So what is simple interest? Quick Quick check So I equal to apa? PRT so, bila disebut based on the concept of simple interest, so R tu adalah apa? Interest is calculated per year, eh, setiap tahun, setiap tahun. Maksudnya, setahun sekali. So, T ni mestilah dalam year, eh, mesti. Kalau dia bagi you dalam days ataupun months, you have to convert it to year. So, kita tengok pula what are the main features of Promissory note. So, ini adalah apa? Benda yang perlu ada dalam 
nota janji tu eh So the first thing adalah apa? The first thing of course the borrower eh Borrower ataupun dipanggil issuer Issuer atau maker eh ha, Itu adalah apa? A person who borrow the money And then of course mesti bila ada borrower mesti lah ada lender Yang bagi pinjam duit And then what else? So you boleh turn to page 14 So kita tengok kat sini ada apa lagi? Lender, borrower, date of the note So bila ada nota perjanjian, agreement Mesti lah ada date kan pada note tu And then the term of the note Term maksudnya apa? The duration From the start dia pinjam until The note is matures Ataupun until the due eh So atau length of time Length of period So term of the note Selalunya in T lah In year And then repayment term Repayment term maksudnya apa? Interest eh ha, So bila you pinjam certain amount Of course lah ada Interest You have to pay Repayment term ataupun we call it Interest rate And then we have face value. So face value ni sama lah dengan the initial amount or we call it principal. So we denote it as P lah. Principal eh. Amount yang mula-mula dipinjam. And then maturity value adalah apa kelas? Maturity value maksudnya the amount at maturity. So maksudnya P plus I lah. Maturity value. S ataupun you denoted as S And then the last one Maturity date okay, Bila ada date of the Note mestilah ada Maturity date Maksudnya di akhir So kalau saya draw a timeline So I draw a timeline So where is the face value? Face value pada T equal to 0 So this is P This is S The maturity value So rate given in Once a year Is calculated once a year And then T eh? The maturity date So dia bagi dalam Date lah tarikh So the length of the term The length of the period of the debt Okay, usually promissory notes ni adalah short term debt eh. Short term debt bermaksud ataupun short term loan bermaksud the loan is within a year ataupun not more than two years. So that is short term loan eh. Okay, short term debt. Okay, what else we are going to learn? How the note can be discounted How note can be sell to the bank eh? Okay, how note can be sell to the bank By the holder So the holder of the note adalah lender lah Lender dipanggil holder eh? Holder of the note Okay So borrower tadi saya cakap apa The maker ataupun issuer eh? So when When the So the holder of the note ataupun dipanggil lender ni Dia boleh sell the note to the bank Yang penting mestilah before maturity So we, if let's say I draw eh Katakanlah maturity dia Berapa bulan? 9 bulan T 9 bulan eh 9 months And then starting 10 May Katakanlah date of the note adalah 10 May 2019 Okay now The term of the note adalah 9 months Okay so So a promissory note dated 10 May 2019 reads as 
nine months from the date I promise to pay. Okay, dia dah berjanji nak bayar. Kata kalau face value dia adalah 4,000. 4,000 ringgit with interest at 5%. Kata kalau rate dia adalah 5% per annum. Per annum. Okay, maksudnya term of the note adalah 9 months eh, from 10 9 bulan 5. So, katakanlah within the period. Katakanlah selepas 5 bulan dari tarikh 10 hari bulan 5 eh. 5 bulan. Berapa? Katakanlah 10 hari bulan 10 eh. 10 hari bulan 10 2009. The lender wants to sell the note to the bank. Sebab apa dia sell note to the bank? Sebab dia perlukan cash. Eh? Dia perlukan cash. So, dia sell note to the bank. So, bila dia sell the note to the bank, we call it discounting the note. So, discounting the note pada bila? So, discounting period adalah apa? Ha, discounting date. Discounting date dia adalah when when the date of the note is discounted so maksudnya discounting date here adalah 10 hari bulan 10 eh 2019 so the term of the the term of the discount okey ataupun kita panggil term of discount ataupun discount period Okay, discount period maksudnya dari date of the note, eh, dari discounting date to maturity. So, this is we call term of discount, eh? term of discount. Okay, term of discount. So, daripada sini, when dia jual note tu kepada bank dia akan receive some amount so some amount tu dipanggil proceed ok proceed is equal to maturity value maturity value of the note tolak dengan tolak dengan bank discount eh ok D D besar so macam mana nak cari Bank discount, so bank discount is equal to SDT, okay. So ni you can refer books lah. SDT maturity value multiply by discount rate. Selalunya bila dia jual kepada bank, bank akan bagi discount rate eh. Discount rate. So daripada situ you bolehlah dapat bank discount, the amount of uh, bank discount ya yeah? ok, ni adalah contoh discounting notes so last but not least we are going to learn simple interest rate which is equivalent to bank discount ok, apa maksud ni kat sini simple interest rate that is equivalent to bank discount if if apa if the two rates If the two rates give the same, give the same present value, eh, PV, for an amount due in future. Okay, maksudnya apa class? Maksudnya... Simple interest rate dengan discount rate ni Nilai dia adalah sama sekiranya The yield the same present value ya. Okay the formula is given by D equal to R over 1 plus RT So ni boleh refer buku eh Macam mana nak turun